Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. Recently, I made a video about archaeology in Legion, and if you saw that, you would know that the way to get rares is a little different this expansion. Instead of being from random solves, you get these rares from a selection of long quest chains. In this video, I'll show you the High Mountain quest chain, starting with a quest named The Right Path. This one is pretty important because it eventually leads to the spirit of Ishiro Moose Mount. Keep in mind that all of what you're about to see is from the beta, so any of this is subject to change. You obtain this quest from the NPC Darinus the Learned at coordinates 4127 in Dalaran. She'll offer you one of these archaeology quest chains once every two weeks. Because this is the beta, things aren't fully figured out yet. No one knows if these come in a certain order or if it's completely random, but I got this after the Purple Hills of Macri quest chain for Val Shara. As soon as more light is shed upon this, I'll have an annotation right here explaining it more clearly. One thing that I do know though is that these quests are server-wide. Everybody gets the same quest chain. As of this beta build at least. As I said, this quest sends you to High Mountain. It's actually really straightforward. You'll get a quest called Laying to Rest which awards you with a mount immediately after turning in the right path. To complete it, you need to find 600 bone fragments. You get these just by digging in the dig sites. Each site has 9 digs and each dig gives you 1 to 5 bone fragments. So on average, that's around 23 dig sites to complete the quest which isn't bad at all. Also, when you're digging, there's a chance for a torrid spirit to spawn, and they drop around 15 fragments, which is a nice bonus. If you take these into account, you'll generally finish the quest in around 20 dig sites depending on your luck. You'll have a selection of 3 dig sites that all respawn in High Mountain. With the way archaeology works this expansion, your dig sites are limited to the zone that corresponds with your current quest chain, so you don't have to knock out dig sites in unnecessary zones. The dig sites themselves do vary in difficulty. Some have absolutely zero mobs and others are packed. The Witchwood in particular is dangerous because there's a roaming giant who'll destroy you if you aggro him. But once you collect all 600 fragments, head back to Thunder Totem to witness a short ceremony where the spirit of Ishiro and Holden High Mountain themselves make an appearance. Afterwards, you're awarded with the spirit of Ishiro Mount. Surprisingly, it is a ground only mount. I still like it though. It looks really slick and just the fact that it's Ishiro is cool enough for me. This was the companion of the legendary Holden High Mountain who led the Torrens against the Burning Legion in the War of the Ancients. This was Azeroth's first battle against the Burning Legion. He carried what is now the Survival Hunter artifact, Talonclaw, and he played a major part in that war. And after that war concluded, he faced off against Deathwing and banished him to Deepholm, so there's a ton of interesting stuff with him. I'll have a link to a whole article about him in the description if that interests you. Anyways, that's about all I have to say, I guess. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and peace.